Sean Funk had always been a man of the earth. With 12 years of experience as a miner under his belt, he had grown accustomed to the rhythm of his work. As a heavy machine operator at Millennium Mine in Alberta, Canada, his days were filled with the roar of machinery and the steady hum of excavation. Over the years, Funk had seen it all, or so he thought. While most of what he unearthed was mundane, occasionally he would find something of value, a treasure buried beneath layers of rock and soil. However, nothing could have prepared him for what he was about to discover. But hey, before we dive into the story, do yourself a favor and pause the video right now. Go hit that like button and let's see if we can make this video reach 1,000 likes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to your favorite story channel. Also, make sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest and weirdest stories. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming your way. Now sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed as we take you on an unforgettable ride. Don't forget to engage with us in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Without further ado, let's dive right in. It was a chilly morning as Funk arrived at the mine, the air crisp with the promise of a new day. He climbed into the seat of his excavator, a behemoth of a machine that had become an extension of himself. As he fired up the engine, the ground trembled beneath him. Today, he was tasked with excavating a new section of the mine, a job that required precision and patience. Funk relished these moments the thrill of uncovering layers of earth that had remained untouched for millennia. As the excavator's bucket bit into the ground, Funk's mind wandered. He thought about the countless stories hidden beneath the surface, the ancient secrets waiting to be revealed. He remembered a news story he had seen about a miner who had discovered a fossilized egg, a rare find that had captured the world's attention. Funk chuckled at the memory, convinced that his dig site would yield nothing but sand and mud. Yet, a part of him still hoped for a miracle. The hours passed as Funk meticulously excavated the earth, each scoop revealing a new layer of history. He imagined the creatures that had once roamed these lands, their footprints long since erased by time. His thoughts were interrupted by a sudden jolt as the excavator hit something hard. The loud cracking sound echoed through the cab, jolting Funk back to reality. He paused, curiosity peaked. What could it be? Another rock, perhaps? Funk raised the crane and stepped out of the cab, eager to investigate. As he examined the contents of the bucket, he noticed something unusual. The rocks looked different, almost as if they were hiding something. His heart raced with excitement and curiosity. Could this be the discovery he had been waiting for? With a sense of urgency, Funk transported the strange rocks to his pickup truck. He knew he had to investigate further. Quickly returning to the crevice, he peered into the damp hole. What he saw made his stomach twist in knots. There was something buried deep within the earth, something that didn't belong there. Funk's mind raced as he called for backup. Officials, co-workers, and site managers rushed to the scene, their faces a mix of curiosity and concern. They brought in a larger crane to help dislodge the anomaly. The team worked meticulously, digging below the artifact and placing boards underneath to stabilize it. As they began lifting it from its watery tomb, Funk felt a mix of anxiety and excitement. He knew this could be the discovery of a lifetime. As the artifact was lifted high above the ground, everyone held their breath. A sickening crack broke the silence, causing the team to wince. The artifact had broken, revealing what Funk had suspected all along. A team from the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology arrived on the scene, their eyes wide with shock and amazement. Funk explained everything as the team carefully dug through the shattered pieces, piecing together a story that seemed too incredible to be true. What they found was nothing short of miraculous. Funk had discovered a real-life fossilized dinosaur, preserved from its snout to its hips. This meant the creature was astonishingly well-preserved, with not only bones and teeth but also skin and remnants of its intestines. It was a phenomenon as rare as winning the lottery. Scientists speculated that the dinosaur had died and been swept into a river by a massive flood. Its body was kept afloat by gases, eventually washing out to sea. After a week, the carcass burst, sinking back first into the ocean floor. Over time, minerals seeped into its skin and armor, preserving its form as tons of rock piled on top of it. Researchers from the museum and around the world worked tirelessly for six years to test, preserve, and prepare the dinosaur's remains. They concluded that the dinosaur was a four-legged herbivore, covered in armor-plated skin and spikes with a long tail. It was a brand new discovery, a species called a notosaur. In its petrified state, 
the notosaur weighed around 2,500 pounds, giving scientists a reasonable idea of its weight when alive, approximately 3,000 pounds. This suggested the notosaur was a fairly solitary creature, roaming the land 100 million years ago. The preservation of the notosaur's remains baffled scientists. The conditions had to be just right for such a remarkable state of preservation. The notosaur had lain undisturbed for millions of years, covered by layers of rock and oil. Modern X-ray scans revealed the creature's bone structure and even the inner chambers of its stomach, showcasing the incredible level of preservation. For Sean Funk, the discovery was a dream come true. He had always hoped to find something extraordinary, and now he had. The notosaur's perfectly preserved remains were a testament to the wonders hidden beneath the Earth's surface. Funk's find would go down in history as one of the most significant paleontological discoveries ever made. The news of the discovery spread like wildfire, attracting the attention of scientists, researchers, and dinosaur enthusiasts from around the world. The notosaur was put on display at the Royal Tyrell Museum, where it became a centerpiece, drawing crowds eager to catch a glimpse of the ancient creature. For Funk, Life returned to normal, but he carried with him the pride and satisfaction of knowing he had made a significant contribution to science. His discovery would inspire future generations of paleontologists and adventurers, reminding them of the mysteries that still lay hidden beneath the Earth's surface. The notosaur became a symbol of perseverance and discovery, a testament to the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Scientists continued to study its remains, uncovering new insights into the life and environment of this ancient creature. Funk's name became synonymous with one of the greatest discoveries in paleontological history, a legacy that would endure for generations. Years later, Funk would often reflect on that fateful day. The memory of uncovering the notosaur still brought a smile to his face. He had found not just a fossil, but a piece of history, a window into a world long gone. It was a reminder that sometimes, the most extraordinary discoveries happen when you least expect them. And for Sean Funk, that day in the Millennium Mine had been nothing short of miraculous. As the years went by, the story of the Notosaur's discovery became a part of mining lore, a tale told and retold in break rooms and around campfires. It inspired young miners to keep their eyes open, to never lose hope of finding something extraordinary. And for Sean Funk, it was a story he would cherish for the rest of his life, a testament to the wonders that lie hidden beneath the Earth's surface, waiting to be discovered. In the end, Sean Funk's ordinary day at work had turned into an extraordinary adventure. He had unearthed a piece of history, a fossilized dinosaur that had survived millions of years. It was a reminder that sometimes, the most incredible discoveries happen when you least expect them. And for Funk, the notosaur was a dream come true, a symbol of the endless possibilities that lay hidden in the depths of the earth.